Hey guys, this is Ryan with Tonic Size Shop, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed a Like to Know It widget onto your new shop page. I'm going to go through how we can customize that and then also a little bit of CSS that will make it look a lot better. So with that being said, let's get started. And for this tutorial, I'm actually going to turn the video off just because it gets in the way of some of the elements that we need to access here on the left hand side. All right. So for those of you who don't know, Like to Know It is basically an app that allows you to create collections of items for sale online and put them on your website. And when people click on that item and they purchase it, you make a commission. So we're logged in here and under tools, we're going to click on boutique. Now boutique is going to allow us to select some folders that we have collections of items in and then display them in a, on our website through a widget. So if we keep scrolling down here, I'm going to find our tonic folders here. So we're going to do tonic bags, tonic black dress, books, and maybe tonic home. Now we're not going to display too many um, items on our website, but we can actually display as many items as we want on um, our widgets. For this example, though, I'm only going to show nine, and but I'll show you how you can update that. So once we have all of our folders, uh, with the items that we want selected. You can go down here and update these options if you want. Select your currency, and then you can show the brand or show the price when people hover over it. Now for the widget width, let's go back over to show it, and I'll show you where we're going to add this widget and get that all set up for our code. So if we scroll down here, I'm just going to work on the desktop version first. Under the current obsessions, we're going to add nine products um, from our embed. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, click on current obsessions here. And then if you click the three dots next to it, click on duplicate. And this is just going to duplicate this canvas. So you have two and um, you can have one as a backup just in case. So for now, let's click the three dots again and let's uncheck visible on desktop and then do this again for uncheck on visible mobile. And that way this one's hidden. So we're gonna be working on this one. And again, to stay a little bit organized, let's go ahead and click on the three dots again and click rename and rename it to current obsessions LTK. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove um, all of these products and we're gonna replace all of that with an embed code box. So in the middle icon here, click on embed code. And then we are going to make this about 900 pixels wide. Center it, and then we'll move it up. We don't have to worry about the width too much right now because we will correct that once we have the code in there. And then we'll move to the mobile side as well. So now that we have this all set up, let's jump back over to like to know it and over the custom size, let's do 900 because that's what the width we put in. We're going to do max three columns and then max products. We're actually only going to show about nine and then we'll have a button leading to our actual um, like to know it link. Select your platform. We're going to select other and this is going to give us some embed code. So we see our items here. Let's go ahead and click on copy code. You can see it gave us a bunch of HTML. So with that copied, we can jump over to show it. And we're going to double click inside of this embed code box and paste and then click on save. So now we have our items in there. We can see they're getting cut off here. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. And there we go. All nine are in there. We can shorten that up. And then what we're going to do is make this shorter as well. So we have our embed in there. Let's go ahead and preview it and take a look at what this page looks like now. So if we scroll down, we can see our items in there. And when someone clicks on an item, it leads them to the reward style link, which re, um, redirects them to the actual product. So that is how that works. Now, if you're like us, we actually don't like the gray borders and we don't like these little drop shadows. So we have some code 
that you can add to your website to remove this as well if you would like. It's very easy and I'll show you how you can do that right now. So in the post, you'll be able to find this code provided for you. Let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to show it. And then if you click the shop title, click on custom CSS. Let's add this at the bottom. If you already have some CSS in there, that's fine. If you don't, don't worry. Just add this CSS in the custom CSS area. Click on save. And then let's hit preview again. If we go back to our shop page and we refresh, you'll notice that the borders and the shadow are gone. And we think it just looks a little bit better like that. Now let's work on the mobile side and then we'll be done. Down here, we'll click on view mobile. And then we need to click on current obsessions, LTK. And then for this section, we're going to move it up a little bit. Let's make it a little bit wider. And then if we scroll down, you can see it's getting cut off again. So let's make it taller. Perfect, just like that. So let's center that and then move this up and we have our mobile version as well. Let's hit preview. And then you can copy this link here and send it to your phone and then check this page out on your mobile as well. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. All right, bye.